Hi, it's Nancy Linneruth with UnblockResults.com, where people come to stop procrastinating once and for all, painlessly, almost effortlessly, and in less time than you can imagine. Today I want to tell you about golden handcuffs and how they can cause serious procrastination. I've heard from three different people in the last week, all with very similar stories. I reconnected with an old, old friend on Facebook, uh, found out what she's up to. She's in a very prestigious job, uh, doing extremely important work in the world. But she described herself as counting the days until retirement. Then there's the business acquaintance of my husband. Uh, he is in a very good company, making extremely good money, uh, but he is bored. Uh, he's not learning new things. He's not growing. He could do so much more, but he's not willing to step away from that company because he doesn't think he'll be able to make as much money in another position. And then there's my client. She was in a very similar situation about a year ago when she came to me. Uh, she was in a, a, a job where she was doing okay, uh, but she wanted to do better. And she was so stressed out, she, she felt like that was really holding her back. So we worked on the stress and we, we worked to get rid of all the stuff that was holding her back from going after what she was capable of in this job. And in this past year, she's gotten a promotion, gotten a big raise, and been sent off to a number of different uh, um, business meetings across the country uh, where she's done extremely well. So her position is now very secure and uh, she is no longer all stressed out. So she comes to me this week and says, you know, I've had a realization. I want to do more than I'm capable of doing in this current position. In fact, in my company, I can't do all that I would like to do. I need to find a different job. Oh, okay. Um, and she said, you know, there's, there's a, a, I know exactly where to go. Uh, there is another company that I would be able to do what I want to do, but I can't apply for that job until I have already quit my current job. I said, and on top of that, by the way, right now her husband is not working. He's at home taking care of the kids. So they're entirely dependent on her salary. So I asked her, well, what are you going to do? And she said, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to do it. I'm going to quit and go after that other job. Now, I don't like people to do things that might cause them serious grief. So I tested a bit. I, I said, okay, well, what if you don't get that other job? Oh, it'll be okay. I, I have this recruiter I can go to and you know, the, the market is really good for what I do these days. I'll find something. I'll be, we'll be okay. So I asked her, would you have gone after this a year ago? So oh, never, I would never have done that. In fact, I, I would still have been stressed even with the promotion and the, and the, the money a year ago, just worrying that something might happen to it. But now I can do that. Wow, what a big change. Well, well what happened? What, what caused this big change with her? The thing is, we tapped. We worked so hard getting rid of what was inside holding her back that not only was she able to grow in her current job and get that promotion and the, and the, and the money raise, but she was able to start thinking about, well, what's next? What more do I want from life? And she was able to just say, I'm going to quit my job so I can get it. Wow. She'd had the golden handcuffs, but she found the key. So I want to ask you something. If you feel like you're in a job that you can't quit, you can't walk away from it, even though it's not quite right for you. I want you to think about when you're 80 and you're looking back on your life. Which are you going to regret more? Are you going to regret having quit that safe, secure job? Or are you going to regret more not having gone after the life you truly wanted? If you enjoyed this video, go to my website, unblockresults.com, sign up for my newsletter. Until I see you again, happy tapping.